What are the, so I'm writing down as you name them, um, what exactly you use cannabis to treat. Mm -hmm. I have hepatitis, type C, of course, and arthritis, the different types. Uh -huh. um, multiple sclerosis, very like effective. Uh, migraine headache, very, it depends on whether you're talking about what's in the Washington law or what is No, in, I want to know across the board. Uh, because the, so the, the reason that cannabis affects so many different things is there is something called the endocannabinoid system. And it's rarely even studied in medical school, but it is an underlying system that is about 600 million years old in terms of evolution. And what the endocannabinoid system does is it helps the body deal with change, changes that are either external or internal. Um, you're all familiar with uh, cell receptors, what a cell receptor is. Uh, the number one most common cell receptor in the entire nervous system of all the cell receptors, including acetylcholine receptors, uh, or cannabinoid receptors, they are the most common receptor in the nervous system. So if you think about it in terms of pure information, the nervous system is set up to receive the most amount of information through cannabinoid receptors, yet it's hardly studied at all in, the, um, uh, 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 in any conventional medical program. It's, it's barely even mentioned. So because of that, it has a wide range of possibilities. In, in my opinion, uh, any kind of pain, uh, including moderate, uh, and uh, severe pain, but also mild pain can be uh, helped with cannabis. Now, a lot of people frown on that, and certainly you can't do that in Washington. It has to be chronic, debilitating, and intractable pain. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, especially topical cannabis, uh, could really help the health of a lot of people. Why? Because it reduces dependence on more toxic alternatives that they're already using, such as ibuprofen or Tylenol. Um, 50,000 emergency department visits a year from Tylenol normally consumed, not consumed in excess. Um, any issue where there's spasm. So a migraine is a spasm of uh, the blood vessels of the brain. Uh, asthma is a spasm of the um, uh, bronchi, of the, the tubes of the lungs. Um, uh, any type of a smooth muscle spasm, so intestinal spasms in Crohn's disease, uh, IBS, um, uh, ulcerative colitis, it can be effective for. Uh, it's very good to protect the liver and hepatitis C. The drug companies are developing AI cancer drugs based on cancer molecule or cannabis molecules right now. Um, it's effective in Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS, uh, because in the, the, at the end stages of Lou Gehrig's disease, patients lose their ability to, the muscles of swallowing lose their coordination. And what's one of the side effects of cannabis? Dry mouth equals less swallowing, very good. It's fabulous for neurodegenerative disorders. Uh, it's good for autoimmune disease, so uh, uh, lupus, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, um, it's good for so many different things. So, so it's extremely versatile, and in my also poli very political opinion, I think why there is a pharmaceutical bias against it, uh, and I'm happy to, to talk on any or all of those points and, and share those with you. But that's my strong opinion.